Great white sharks, what is it about them that intrigues us? Today, we have a whole new perspective on these creatures. A perspective from above. From above, it's pretty safe to say we are now able to be further intrigued. They are sleek, efficient in their movements. In slow motion, we can appreciate their near-perfect conical form. This is a creature that has survived four mass extinction events. They are resilient to say the least, but for the first time ever, we can now watch them from above almost daily. Like watching ants through a magnifying glass, we can watch sharks in a fashion where there are no external stimuli in the water with them. We can get complete natural observation, nature as it occurs. Observing them from above allows us to see they come in different shades of gray, like this one, a shark I've come to know for its unique coloring. From above, we can see scars, cuts, and other identifying marks. But my favorite thing about watching sharks from above is seeing sharks behave as sharks and completely surprise me as an observer. Moments like this, a white shark eating kelp. It's only observable in these undisturbed moments from above. It's in those moments that you can catch a white shark lunge at another piece of kelp. Why do they do this? I'm not sure, but there are some things I see too often. Injuries like this, a long line fishing injury. This type of footage can underscore the effects humans have on these creatures. They are injuries that say a lot about our species but even more about their resilience. Luckily, those moments are surpassed by the extremely beautiful moments that also occur daily. It's now possible to see interactions like this, where a pod of dolphins interact with seven great white sharks. Here, you can count them all in the same frame. It's always their interactions with other species that hold the most intrigue. And it's also those interactions that raise even more questions than answers. However, no interactions garner more attention than when a shark is close to a human. This is what I see daily. It's a glimpse, perhaps at the moments that have always existed. We just did not have the eyes in the sky that we have now. And yes, some moments can be rather alarming. These children did not see this shark. nor did this paddleboard. Ironically, humans are ever so curious about white sharks, but most often they have no idea they are nearby. And while negative encounters are always possible, they are wild animals near the top of the food chain after all. Observing them from above gives us insights that can rewrite the book on how we perceive these animals. Yes, they can be dangerous, that is certain. And many people can be rightfully terrified of them. Notice this man points over to the kids to warn them. Would you do the same? As we continue to observe sharks from above, there is one thing that's vital to remember. It's that education and understanding their importance in this environment that is the key to coexisting, and more importantly, protecting them. Because in the ocean, 
nothing may be more scary than an ocean without sharks. <laughs>